everyone and welcome to another uh, week of survey uh, programming languages so this week we're going to discuss go programming language um, so go is actually developed by Google um, I guess if you take the OGLE off you got go for Google um, <clears throat> so a little bit about go it's um, it's an up-and-coming programming language I believe it's been around for at least a decade uh, it's uh, you're starting to see it like if you see at the bottom here companies that are using it so known companies obviously Google um, since they developed it um, Netflix made a be which is Facebook um, Salesforce Twitter etc so a lot of major companies are starting to use this uh, language um, <clears throat> so the reason um, it, well, what, once again it's a open source programming language um, supported by Google um, it's considered easy to learn uh, so one of the benefits that um, the reason that Google created this language is typically at Google, most of us know that early on when they started off, they were developing um, most of their coding was in Python. That was a, a powerful language that they use, and Python is very powerful still. Um, they were also using C++. Uh, they were using Java and forms of JavaScript. So they came up to a conclusion like most programmers um, come up with is, a lot of times you identify that these languages that you're using um, can be time consuming. So for example, C++ and Java was considered to be a time consuming language. Does it not, are they powerful and can they do major things? Absolutely. But sometimes there's a lot of pain points in it. Um, Python also is a, sim a simplistic uh, syntax to learn uh, for most people, but um, Sometimes it could be tend to be slow and not as powerful as you want it to be. Um, so they Google needed something quick um, and easy to write, um, something that had high performance, etc. And that's why they came up with the Go language um, or GoLang, um, you could call it, which was earlier on called GoLang, and they shorted it to Go. Um, so it's easy to understand, similar to Python and syntax. It's strong, quick, and um, a little bit easier to run it's a compiled language um, so <clears throat> that in a nutshell describes what go is in this video right here this is just the introduction I wanted to discuss a little bit about it I don't want to get too much into it into the weeds with it um, so what we're gonna do in this video is just kind of get started download it um, in my next video we're gonna be actually coding stuff and we'll be using the Visual Studio Code editor within a diagram so we're just gonna go ahead and click get started and we're going to download. And depending on the um, OS that you're using, if you're using Windows, Linux, etc., um, you choose which is what you're using. I'm using a PC, or I'm sorry, using a Mac. And it's downloading. at a very slow speed. I'll pause this until it's completed. Now, completed downloading, so let's just get and open this up and just walk through the, uh, through the guide here. I'll do installation. So it's validating, writing files, almost completed here. Running a package. And that's it. Installation is successful. Move to trash. And that concludes video number one. We'll see you soon when we're talking about how to write some Go code. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.